the single most important thing that helped me improve my rank from 34000 to 1100 was not going to other cities to attend offline lecture class it was not solving all the question banks it was not solving custom modules it was not buying many apps rapid revision courses at the end moment it was just making simple concise notes guys remember in the main exam we make simple silly mistakes and to prevent that i have made this simple technique of making mcq notes i am dr srijesh saraf and i am currently first year derma resident at medical college kolkata and i'll be teaching you all this very simple technique guys let watch this video with hyper focus and don't skip the video what are the advantages of making mcq notes the first is it saves time look guys for solving 10 mcqs we require around 10 minutes but after making the mcq notes we'll revise them in just under 1 minute even in 30 seconds so we'll save so much time it helps us in analyzing which are the topics from where the question are being asked repeatedly third it helps us to make previous year topics from the option also we have to include the option and the solution also because they can be the potential question it helps us to avoid silly mistakes as i have told you that we make silly mistakes today if we'll solve the question after 3 to 4 months there is a probability that we'll forget that right answer because before solving that mcq we might have read from the book recently but if we'll make the mcq notes we'll revise it just before the exams and we'll not make silly mistakes guys i made very less silly mistakes during my neat exam that's why i got a very good rank what's rule of 3 हम लोग को तीन चीज चुराना है एक एमसीक्यू से फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेकंड ऑप्शंस एंड थर्ड द सॉल्यूशन। वी हैव टू स्टील थ्री थिंग्स फ्रॉम एन एमसीक्यू। लेट मी शो यू हाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वांट टू टेल दैट दिस पीडीएफ इज फ्रॉम टेलीग्राम इट्स इट कंटेन्स प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गाइनी ऑफ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट डबल ब्लेप साइन एंड The answer is M B amniotic sac yolk sac. I have included double bleb the question, amniotic sac yolk sac the option, intrauterine pregnancy and it helps in differential diagnosis from pseudo gestational pregnancy. This is from the solution. You can also include ectopic pregnancy here because that can be repeated in the future exams. this is how you have to make mcq notes coming to the next question all of the following increases at full term pregnancy except pregnancy cardiac output max is 32 weeks i have included from all the three things i'll read about pregnancy that the things are increased or decreased i'll read about cardiac output all the things and max is at 32 weeks this i have to learn coming to the next question it's about episiotomy which one is preferred medio lateral because it extends less but there is increased blood loss you can add whatever thing you are finding that's relevant it's up to you the next question is about post delivery of an intact placenta severe vaginal bleeding after 30 minutes sonogram reveals retained placental tissue delivery 30 minutes vaginal bleeding retained placenta second sheet data and the, from the solution small accessory lobe with vessel that's it next question it's about uh, it's about intrauterine pregnancy with 
IUCD, patient wishes to continue the pregnancy. I have written pregnancy IUCD string visible. We have to remove at it in increases miscarriage. Done. Next question. It's about Bishop scoring. It, it's for induction of labor and the components I have written because I tend to forget these five things. That's station, dilation, effacement, consistency, and position. The rest of the thing we, we can learn from the book because in the book there is a very beautiful table already given. So why make that table again here? Next question is about pain abdomen, endometrial biopsy is normal, and sonogram shows diffused and large uterus with no adenexal mass. What's the diagnosis? It's adenomyosis. I have written all the relevant information here and we have to differentiate from fibroid in the option it's fibroid is given so it can be a potential question in the future the next question is about just 30 weeks supine svc syndrome it's a one-liner so i have not written much The next question is about GT PAL. I have written only about Gravida because we tend to confuse it with parity. Gravida is present and past. That's it. From learning this, I'll get an idea what is parity and all the full forms that is term, preterm, abortion, and life. The next question is one liner first trimester pregnancy, it's anencephaly we can diagnose so coming back did it really save time see guys i have solved all the mcqs in five minutes now i can revise it in just 30 seconds it helps in analysis as you all can see the most questions are from obstetrics and from the diagnosing part Previous year topics, you can get so many topics from this concise note. And silly mistake, you will understand this when you will give the main exam. If you will revise this much, you will not make any silly mistake from the topics that you have made your MCQ notes. So guys, if you want to know more how I got a, uh, got a rank from 34,000 to 1100 I have uploaded a uh, one more video please do watch it and if you guys want me to make any video about any topic any strategy please do comment below I'll make I'll try to make them thank you